progressively we remove the plantation type of trees in this forest and replace it with indigenous species. Remove the plantation, remove all the invasive and dangerous species and replace it by replanting indigenous trees, uh, uh, protect the biodiversity and improve the ecosystem of this forest. In 2018, President Uhuru Kenyatta put a moratorium on the harvesting of plantation across all public forest. That was when my good brother, uh, um, uh, Honorable Tobiko, was the Minister for Environment and Forestry. When this administration came into power, so the, so the Friends of Karura and Kenya Forest Service stopped because they could not remove the plantation then because of the moratorium. Now that the moratorium has been in, removed and even Kenyans have been allowed to harvest the plantation uh, species and trees in our, in our forest, public forest, under the Public Procurement and, and Asset Disposal Act through a proper tendering process, the Friends of Karura, the community around Karura, the Kenya Forest Service now have started implementing the participatory forest management plan where every year we remove the plantations trees, five hectares every year. So this year we have five hectares. We are removing only the plantation trees, exotic trees. We have agreed with respectable, recognized timber industry players who are registered with the Kenya Forest Service. Emails were sent to all the members who use this facility, and you will be given a copy four months ago. You are, I have shown you the, 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 the boards in all our gates. We have notified the public that we are starting the process of restoring the forest ecosystem and conservation by removing the plantation uh, exotic trees and replacing them with the indigenous trees, uh, shrubs and all that are good for conservation of our forest. So that's why this has happened. Uh, uh, the people were saying Karura has been. The, the, uh, Karura was saved by one of our Nobel laureate, Ongari Madai. The Green Belt Movement is part of the community of Karura Forest. And they spoke yesterday. The, the chair of the Friends of Karura is here. So we want to assure the people of Kenya. President Ruto is the only one who recruited in 30 years over 2,600 Kenya forest rangers to protect our forest everywhere. And we are proud of the rangers here who protect and our scouts who are, who are recruited by the, the friends of uh, Karura who you have seen uh, when we entered the gate. So we have a bigger strategy as a government. Every minister goes out every, uh, every, every month once to go and plant. This year, since January, we have planted over 685 million trees in our country. We are short of not reaching the 1.5 billion. In 10 years, we want, to be, we want to plant 15 billion. We cannot be a government that is so irresponsible that we want to restore our, our wetlands, restore our riparians, restore our forest, restore our forest cover from 10 percent, uh, I mean from 8 percent to 12 percent, restore our, our, our tree cover. At the same time, come and destroy uh, Karura Forest. I mean, that is very irresponsible. Whoever is uh, circulating that, uh, you, you are not doing for the interest of Kenya Forest Service. You are not doing it for the interest of environmentalists. Nairobi is the capital city. It's called the environmental city of the world. That is where UNEP is. I've just come back from Baku, putting the case for Kenya and Africa on how we must reduce green gas emission, how we must make sure uh, uh, 
each and every country, the polluters of the world in the, in the, in the global north must pay for the, uh, uh, the pollution they do to our developing countries. I mean, Kenya, Kenya uh, gas emission that we, is, is less than 1%. So I want to assure the country that that viral video is irresponsible. It is, uh, that person is not patriotic. That person is fake, is uh, propaganda. And I want to assure him that try any other uh, place, not where I am a minister. And that is why today I came here. Because uh, the media spoke yesterday, the, the f Friends of Karura spoke yesterday, the Green Belt Movement Professor Karanja spoke yesterday, I am here. We are only removing exotic plantation. And we have, if there was no moratorium, by today, I think Karura Forest could have been 100% indigenous forest. And that is the only way we can conserve, we can conserve our ecosystem, and we can uh, conserve and protect our biodiversity.